So we got a nice little window we can check out to make sure nothing's on fire or in there before we go in. The N76 engine room. Uh, the blue buckets was the reason I wanted to show you all this. On a lot of boats, uh, you know, folks take their oil with them. We take our oil with us, but I don't like having a bunch of buckets in the engine room to trip over or to fly around while we're underway. So this boat and a lot of the Nordhavens are actually equipped with uh, oil tanks. So we have a 65 gallon new oil tank and a 65 gallon used oil tank. So when we depart on a trip, the used oil tank is empty and the, the, the new oil tank is full of nice clean fresh oil that we'll use on the trip. Um, the way we get that in there uh, is through the blue hose that you can see I've lined over there. So basically I'm just to suck the oil out of each one of these buckets via our oil change manifold, focusing on the, on the top up here. This is our fuel uh, manifold. But you can see on this side we've uh, got the oil change manifold. And I'm going to put oil into the new tank. So we're going to open that up. We're gonna open up this pump. It'll pump it in. We're gonna open up this pump. It's gonna suck it out of the buckets. And then we've got this whip, which I'm actually not ready to open yet. And then we simply just turn on the pump. It's a pretty powerful Oberdorfer 120 uh, volt pump. Uh, so uh, just a little more on the engine room before we, clearly we're a single engine boat. Um, that can't even get the whole thing in the engine so not a very you know it's, it's a big engine but it uh, was originally 535 horsepower uh, the one of the previous owners of the boat detuned it to 475 um, horsepower didn't affect really the performance at all we're eight nine knot boat uh, cruising no matter what we do you know that's that by design um, but because it's a dry stack exhaust you can see that big gray uh, <laughs> blanket uh, or that pipe going up into the ceiling that's our exhaust uh, pipe going up into the stack and with the dry exhaust uh, sometimes these boats will create soot just like think about your chimney at, in, a, in a house with a fireplace and so um, the uh, detuning of the engine uh, to 475 eliminated any of the soot coming out of the engine so it burns nice and clean um, that's our wing engine back there uh, probably do a whole nother video on the wing engine and hydraulics and things like that um, nice working area I did have I posted some shots of that before but um, not a video and of course all my all my notes there extra controls so uh, I'm not a diesel mechanic but when the diesel mechanics are here uh, doing their annual maintenance they they can run the motor from down here without having to go up and down to the pilot house um, through the uh, aft engine room door back there, you can see uh, those white storage bins. We've got a nice big rack back there full of storage bins. Uh, again, maybe another video on the LAS. Uh, there's another generator. This this uh, white box you see here, that's our large generator. It's 33 uh, kW. And back in the Lazarette, through that aft door, uh, by the storage, there's also a smaller 12 kW generator, dive compressor, all kinds of fun stuff back there. Uh, these are our water makers um, in the Nordhaven way, you know, two of everything, right? So why do you need two 800-gallon-a-day uh, water makers? Because uh, you don't need 1,600 gallons of water a day, right? But you do need, uh, if one breaks, you need the other one. All right, so I'm going to get busy. I'm going to open up these buckets and uh, suck all the oil out of them. And uh, that's my fun project for the day.